Hey all, Imperial Ace here, and I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to patch your Microsoft Combat Flight Simulator 3 up to version 3.1, how to install a NoCD patch, and then for some of you, how to install Ancore shaders. I'll explain that in a bit. Links to all three of these things in the description below. Let's get started with the 3.1 installer. You go ahead and click yes, it will do its thing. Go ahead and click OK. At this point, yours is going to start patching. At this point for me, since I've already patched it, it is going to give me a series of errors that I'll click out of. And that is simply because I have it patched already. It has read that it does not need to patch, so it's not going to patch. So for you, it will install the patch, give you a success message, and then it's patched. Next, you're going to want to open up the no CD. No CD right there. It's got a little EXE in it. Looks like I already had it open. And we're going to go to where we have Microsoft Combat Play Simulator 3 installed. I have it in Program Files x86, Microsoft Games Combat Play Simulator 3. Um, for you, you might want to have it in simply Program Files, Microsoft Games Combat Play Simulator 3. Uh, that will help with some of the mods and it might help because it's an older game. Uh, all you'll have to do to do the no CD patch is drag this on over to your root file, click replace, and then boom, it's done. That's all you have to do. And then you can run it without the CD. Next, we're going to go ahead and click on the CFS3 config, and it'll automatically do it. Make sure you click File and Exit. It'll save your settings. Now, this works on Windows 10 and 11 because I'm running 11 currently, and I ran it on 10 previously. I believe it also works on 7 and 8 as well. So let's go ahead, load this up now. The heavy intro movie turned off, so it's not going to show that. Turn the volume now so you can hear me and not the game itself uh, for a moment, just so I can continue this on tutorial. As you can see, it loaded. We can click Quick Combat, click Fly. I don't have my stick plugged in right now, but I can manipulate it a little bit with the keyboard. Notice that it's a lot less responsive, and I'm having to actually do all the trim and stuff myself with the keyboard. Get a stick. It's better with a stick. You're going to have a lot more fun with the stick. It's going to be a lot harder if you don't have a stick. Let's go ahead and exit out of that. At this point, if you wanted to just get your stock game loaded or you want to install any other mods, go ahead and you can close out of this video now. We've done all we need to do. It's running, and that's all we need. So for those of you who are leaving now, thanks for joining us, and be sure to check back for another tutorial on how to install some of these other mods. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Thanks. Bye-bye. For those of you who have stuck around, we're going to install Ancore's shaders. This really upgrades the graphical experience for the game. It shouldn't be too hard. I always recommend backing up your Microsoft Combat Flight Simulator 3 here. That way, if there are any issues with the install, you have something to fall back on. Now, it's going to not allow me to load it from here because I have settings on another version of the game in a different area. I'll show you that in a little bit. But for you, it should not have any problem. All you're going to do is go in here, download any core shaders, link in the description. We don't really need the README right now. You can if you want to, but that's what this video is for. Go ahead and open Effects and FX Textures. You'll see the same thing here. You're going to want to copy everything. I just do Control A, Control C, come over here, Control V. If it asks you to replace any files, click Yes. Next, go back to the root folder. Go back to it here. Everything from shaders 30, all the D3, D8s, 
and sun effects and just go ahead. Uh, let's go ahead and do control C, control V. You can preserve this for later. If it asks you to override anything, click yes. Everything is installed now. And now we're going to go here and you might need to do some manipulation, but we'll see. First of all, you'll notice that earlier it had the AMD graphics. Now it can run the NVIDIA graphics. Go to custom settings. This is very important. Click OK. You can jack that all the way up to five if you want. Click Windows Overrides. Turn off dual pass render. Turn on high resolution Z buffer. And then click yes for disable shadows. I also like to disable the intro movie just because I don't need to see it every time. That is up to you. That's not required. The other three are required. Click OK. Change display settings. Select resolution and set it to whatever your resolution you want it to be. Set it to that. I click four samples, but I don't think it really matters because I think it just defaults to whatever it wants to do. Click OK. File. Exit. If you click that little X at the top, it will not save your settings and will not work. We should be able to run it now. Sometimes I run into errors, though. I'm going to show you how to get around that. Yes, we have run into one. Let's go to our CFS3 config. Properties, Compatibility. We're going to change this to XP Service Pack 3 in the high DPI settings. Make sure both of them are checked and click Apply. Click OK to get out of that. Now let's go to our EXE and do the same thing. Compatibility, Windows XP Service Pack 3, high DPI settings. Make sure both are checked. Click OK, Apply, OK. Go ahead and run this again. Click Yes. Should have your stuff saved from before, so click exit. At this point, you should be able to run this. So that click no if that pops up. Now it's not going to load from this because I have my settings stored elsewhere because I have multiple versions of this. And I already have one with this with these settings. So that one for me is installed in program files, Microsoft Games, Combat Flight Simulator 3, and cores. So I'm going to do this just to show you what it looks like. Go ahead and make sure everything is good here. Click exit. TFS3. And we're just going to click away from that. And as you can see, it loads up. My settings are stored elsewhere. You should not have this problem. Look at how much beautiful, more beautiful this plane is. Nice, shiny, you click fly. Everything's so much nicer. When you get closer to the ground, the details are so much better. Much better gun graphics. The bullets are still about the same. Everything's just so much nicer with this mod. Now, I like to have this on all of my installs. But you need, if you're going to install any mods, if you watch this, but you intend to install mods, I'll cover how to install this on the mods later because uh, you need to do that separately. But that's how you patch up to version 3.1, add the no CD patch. And then for those of you who just want to run this on uh, not the mods right now, how to install Anchor shaders. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Check back later for another tutorial. Thanks. Bye-bye.